Hey everybody, so I want to talk today about blue light. So blue light's got a lot of press lately. Uh, for good reasons, blue light has actually been linked to a lot of eye disease. One of those main eye diseases is macular degeneration, which is the number one cause of blindness in the United States. It's also been linked to lack of sleep. Blue light uh, blocks melatonin release. Melatonin is that magical chemical in our brains. When we sleep, we wake up like, wow, I feel refreshed, right? So when we're staring at our phones before we go to bed or iPads and we wake up in the morning and like, why do I feel so groggy? A lot of it can be related to how much blue light you received before you went to bed. So let's get more into the science about blue light and why is blue light actually harmful to us? So to do that, we're gonna really nerd out and I love nerding out. So um, I pulled up a wavelength spectrum that kind of does a good job explaining what, um, kind of how, how uh, blue light works and really how energy works. Um, all energy actually travels on a wave, right? So, and, and interesting, these in the black, those are all things that our human eye cannot see that are bouncing around all around us, right? So, so things like radio waves or broadcast bands, they're super long wavelengths, which are, which are good because they can travel really far because they can bend around things. Um, and as this wave gets shorter, it becomes more powerful, right? So as you keep shrinking, it, it becomes more powerful. Visible light right here is right here in the kind of in the middle here. And our human eye can pick up on all this. So incandescent bulbs are kind of hanging around here in the red area which actually burn more energy, and that's why they're more expensive. The LED light that's come out and uh, fluorescent lights, you know, that's come out, they actually shifted everything in the, in, the, in the blue light spectrum here in the purple area to actually save cost. Because the smaller the shorter the wavelength, the more powerful the light is and the less energy you need to make things brighter. That's why they're so bright. So, but if you keep shrinking that wave, let's say we kept shrinking that wave well, then it turns into UV. We all know what UV light does. And, you know, we all know what x-rays. X-rays, you can actually, you know, go right through your body. And then luckily for us, this is all stuff that they got to figure out, you know, the astronauts got to figure out when they travel on Mars because these are coming from the sun. So they got to, astronauts out in space don't get the protection that we get from Earth. So kind of interesting. But anyway, so blue light's right here. Well, what's next door neighbor is UV light. We know how bad this is. Well, it makes perfect sense that this definitely over time and, and great great amount is is kind of why that blue light is not good for us so kind of you know so the big picture is this use those technologies that are available to us night shift you know even windows based products you can actually turn on a blue filter samsung has their own blue filter device so use that take those breaks on those computers and those electronic monitors thanks guys